Hello, my name is Will Woodward. I'm a dancer with Sean Dorsey Dance, and I use he, him, his pronouns. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you a little warm up that I like to do before rehearsals and before I perform. So just to get our heart rates um, elevated, we're gonna start with some roll downs and um, get into some planks where we'll arts alternate and get down to our elbows and come back up. Um, we'll do this four times. As you get more comfortable with it, you can definitely add more reps in, um, but we're gonna start with four. So we'll roll down and walk out into a plank. Down, down, up, up, walk it back and roll up. Let's repeat that three more times. Down, down, up, up, walk it back. And down, down, up, up. Roll it up and let's go down one last time. Walk it out. Down, down, up, up. Great job. So just to get us a little more warm and to get the core engaged, we're gonna go through a series of sit-ups. Follow along and I'll talk you through it. All right, let's do some sit-ups with the legs extended. We're going up eight times. And reach it side and side and three and four and five, six, seven, eight. Knees up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the side eight times and two and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, feet off the ground, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen bicycles, eight more, and legs straight up, we'll raise our pelvis eight times. Six, seven, eight. Lower the legs one, and two, and three, and four. Legs up, touch your toes four times. Three and four. Great job. Now let's roll over onto our stomachs and go up into either a cobra or sphinx, whichever feels better for you. And so out of your sphinx or cobra, you're gonna stretch back into a child's pose. And then as it feels good to you, go ahead and come up to your hands and knees. And we're gonna do some cat cows. So contract and arch, contract and arch. A couple more times. Make sure that you're breathing um, with each movement. And then we'll circle four times to the right. And go ahead and reverse that. and take your pelvis up into a down dog. Go ahead and move your hips side to side. You can tread your feet, whatever feels best for you here. Feel that blood flowing. 
and we'll be returning down to the ground next to do a series of stretches. Now we'll be moving through a couple series of stretches. Uh, follow along and I'll talk you through it. And so we're gonna start with a lunge. Lunge out forward on your right leg. Make sure your front leg is turned out and you're gonna send your hips back and extend that right leg. Feel that stretch in your hands. Go ahead and roll it forward. Make sure you're breathing. Let's take it back again. Breathe through that stretch. Let's move forward and pull it back. In this position, make sure that your heel is going down towards the ground, but it won't be touching the ground. Again, pull it back. And this time, go ahead and let your back knee touch the ground. We're gonna circle our right arm and grab our foot. And of course, continue breathing through the stretch. All right, send your hips back again and feel free to grab that toe if that is available to you and try to kiss your knee. Now bringing your leg uh, knee under you, go ahead and do a spinal twist. All right, and now let's repeat that all on the left side. And so lunge forward, making sure that front leg is turned out, your back leg is turned in, and take your hips back. Continuing to breathe through this exercise and move forward. Try to keep your chest up as much as possible in that forward position. And once again, make sure that that back heel is being stretched towards the ground, but it won't be touching the ground. Great job continuing to breathe through that movement. Filling the stretch through your hamstrings. All right, and place that knee down. We're gonna circle the arm, grab our toe. And you can also add in a little bit of a spinal twist here by taking your gaze up. and push your hips back. Grab that toe if it's available to you. And come on forward into another spinal twist. We'll release that. We're going to go ahead and move into an easy second position. Now we haven't fully warmed up the hips yet. And so don't try to force this. This should be an easy second. Um, once you find that, make sure your pelvic bones are going right into the ground. And sit up, find a nice balanced place and go ahead and roll down. Now this is only part one of my warm up. I technically like to do a deeper stretch in second after I've fully warmed up my hips. 
So this is just a little hello, saying hello to the hips. We'll take a few more breaths here. Roll up, shake your legs out, go ahead and bring them forward. And we're gonna scooch about eight times forward, and then we're gonna scooch about eight times back. If you have more space, you can do this more. I like this, it helps to open up the hamstrings and the lower back. And so hanging over your legs, we'll continue to breathe. You can massage your feet while you're here in this position. Go ahead and roll up, stretch your feet out underneath you and push yourself over your feet and just hang there. Pushing into the ground, you're gonna send your hips up. And once again, just hang, letting the lower back release feeling the stretch in the back of your legs. And go ahead and bend one knee and open up to the other side. And switch. Go ahead and roll on up. Great job, we're all done. Thanks for joining me um, during this short warm up. Hope you enjoyed it um, and hope you're all staying safe. I look forward to seeing all of your beautiful faces back out in the world. Bye.